Hey there, this is Randy Dreammaker. Thank you for joining me here today. Um, I did a video previously about how to get into your Minecraft folder and uh, do a backup of all your worlds. This video in particular, though, is going to address an issue uh, with Minecraft. So if I go into Marketplace, you may have a uh, world like... Uh, you know, here's one that I recently reviewed. This is one that I actually ended up downloading. Um, but you may have a world that you got for free or that you purchased on uh, the marketplace in Bedrock uh, that isn't downloading. And so it'll just show uh, like a little sign that says downloading. And if you cancel it, and then it doesn't really cancel it or anything like that. So I'm going to discuss... Uh, how to fix that issue and it's going to take a few minutes so if you're in a hurry then bookmark this video and come back later uh, but this is how to do it let's take a look at what you're going to need to do so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, go into this pc and this is on windows 10 you're going to go into the local disk. You're going to find the users. And you're going to go to your folder. Now, we have to stop here because for this next part, as far as getting into here, if you do not have this folder here down here that says app data, you will need to go and watch my other video about how to access your world folders because in that video i show you how to get that app data uh, folder right here to show in your uh, users account so that you can easily get in and do what we're going to do i'm not going to show it in this video because i already did that video but uh, if you already have app data available you're going to click on it it's going to be the same uh, steps you're going to go to local packages then you're going to scroll down until you find the microsoft minecraft and it is right here we've got microsoft java and we've got microsoft minecraft uwp so this microsoft minecraft uwp is the bedrock version of minecraft then the Java edition, of course, is the Java edition. So what we're focused on right now is the Bedrock version. You're going to click on that. You're going to come into a uh, local state. You're going to click on games and then dot com Mojang and then your worlds. So here's my worlds. These are all my worlds. Now, these are words, worlds that I've created and it's also world, worlds that, uh, that I have downloaded uh, into my Minecraft from the Minecraft store. What you're going to need to do. Now, if you have an external hard drive that you can store these onto, that's even better. But if you don't, just come over to the side here and create a new folder and new folder and you're just going to call it uh, minecraft world worlds backup now i like to add the date because i'm a developer for minecraft and i um, have to do this all the time so we're going to open this folder and just move it to the side. Oops, wrong way. We want to move this folder over here. So this is the new Minecraft folder we just created. This is the current uh, actual files in the game. We're going to select it. If you don't know how to do that, hold your mouse button down. Dry, uh, on the left button, drag it over and then let go and it's all highlighted. You could also go Control A uh, if you want it that way and it all, all highlight it. If you want to copy it, you could go Control C. I prefer using the mouse because uh, 
then it's actually showing me what is happening. So I'm coming down here. I'm going to go copy and I'm copying all of these. Now you may have a lot more files in here. I only have these in here because I just dragged them in here for this demo. Normally I have like 180 files in there because all of these are um, basically saves of uh, one of the worlds that we're developing right now. So now you're going to come over to this other folder. Make sure you're clicking inside of the Minecraft's world backup folder. You're going to right click and you're going to do paste. Now that's going to copy all of those worlds that are in your Minecraft folder into this backup. And you need to do this before you do anything. You need to do this before you install a beta version of Minecraft. You need to do this before you do any kind of changes uh, to Minecraft, like reinstalling it or anything like that. Because when we uh, do any changes to Minecraft, all of the full files, all the worlds in here get deleted. So I'm going to close this file. We now have my Minecraft backup. And these are the files of the worlds. Okay, so Minecraft is still running. I'm going to exit out of Minecraft. And we're going to come up here to the top left and click up here and go to settings. In settings, find apps. You have system devices, phone, network, so forth. You're going to click on apps. It's going to come up with this page, which is your apps and features. You are going to go down to you till you find the uh, Minecraft folder. And again, this is kind of a last resort. You don't want to do this for, you know, just common issues. This is like if it just hasn't been working and you haven't found any other solution. You're going to right click on Minecraft or click it. There you go. You're going to go to advanced options. Now, if you've got a lot of uh, stuff going on in Minecraft, it could take a while for it to come up. You're going to scroll down and look for these options. So you have several different options here. You have terminate, immediately terminate this app and its related processes. So I'm going to go ahead and terminate it so that there's no Minecraft processes running right now. Then it says reset. If this app isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted. So what this is saying is everything about this app is going to be deleted. All right. You do not want to do that. Then this one says uninstall. Uninstall this app and its setting. Your documents will not be affected. Okay, so uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do uninstall. It says this app and its related info be, will be uninstalled. So it's going to uninstall Minecraft. If you're using Windows 10, you want to make sure you have a legitimate copy of this game. Uh, because if you didn't buy it and you got a, a, a bogus, you know, download or your, you know, somebody, you know, pirated it for you or you, somehow that, uh, this is not going to work for you. So go to your library here inside of the Minecraft store. I went into the Minecraft store. Going to click on library and we're going to go down to... Minecraft because this is where the app actually is. I purchased it on January 31st, 2020. This is Minecraft for Windows, purchased January 23rd. So we're going to install it and we're doing a new install. So it can take a little bit of time depending on your internet speed and the speed of your computer. Okay, so it's now installed. We should be able to come up here and look in uh, all apps. Scroll down to Minecraft. Going to pin it to the start. 
and I'm going to also pin it to the taskbar because I like to have it available up there. So you can see it's now installed. But before we go into there, I want to just show you what it looks like in uh, that app data folder. So I'm just going to go through here real quick. I already showed you how to do this. Looking for packages, looking for Minecraft, UWP, local state. Um, so you can see that um, our worlds are gone. So what we want to do here, because we don't have any worlds, like if we come in here and we say play, it just says create a new one. So we don't want that. So we made this backup. We're going to come over and we're going to select all of these. Right click again, copy, come back over and click into the actual Minecraft worlds folder that we just opened, which I said is right here in Mojang, under Mojang the way we just went in and we're going to right click here and it may not want to take it and you may need administrative access, um, but we'll go ahead and click to add it. Should be able to add them in there in most cases. So we're reinstalling the worlds that we had originally uh, downloaded or been playing with friends or worked with. Let's restart Minecraft. And these are the worlds. You can find those worlds of yours that have not been downloading, like Periodic Odyssey. If you click download and you click, it'll download really fast, or at least it'll download depending on internet speed and things like that. So I hope this video helps you. It's a pain in the butt. Um, it's a known bug, a very well-known bug. Well, this will solve that problem. You just have to make sure that you back up these worlds. That is key. And uh, before you even do this or try this, uh, verify that your worlds are backed up. I mean, really, really be absolutely positive that this folder that you created has your worlds in there. You could even click on one and just kind of look in here and just see, you know, if it's got your stuff in there because you will have to reinstall it in the game. And again, thank you for watching this video.